Lucky Box here. I just finished at Whippin, waiting for my friend Denise from Upper Columbia, and we're gonna go have brunch. But I just thought I would take you guys along today. Sorry, I'm like right by the window and people are being kind of loud, but we went to Divya's kitchen this morning for brunch and it was delicious. I am so happy we went. So we've been walking by Divya's kitchen and every time I see it, I'm telling Chico, I didn't even know that that was the name, but every time I saw it, I'm like, we have to go here, we have to go here because I, I like, they have the menu outside. And I just saw things that looked amazing to me. He's like, yeah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Every time I'm like, hey, we have to go here, we have to go here, we have to go here. So I was watching Roddy Shetty, um, her YouTube channel. I found her recently and I'm literally obsessed. I just love her and she's just speaking to me so much right now. She said she used to work there. I put two and two together, looked it up and I was like, wait, this is the place that I've been saying I wanna go to. So it was just really cool and we had a great experience, but by the time we were done, we were just like tired and ready to go home already even though we were out. We were out for like two hours. I feel like every time we go out, like, we don't need to be out that much. I think we're just like easing our way into getting back out into the world and being around people again is just a lot. We didn't pressure ourselves. Tomorrow I'm going out with my friend Denise in Fort Greene. I'm so excited to go back to my old neighborhood and uh, go to some familiar places and then also on Monday I have a dentist appointment in Park Slope I haven't been there in a while so my like just used to go there a lot when I lived in Brooklyn and just haven't been to Brooklyn since December so I think on Monday I'm just gonna take you guys along on the next couple days um, but right now just had like the energy to like clean like deep deep clean and get ready for spring because um my closet has just been a mess and i know i've been saying like spring cleaning spring cleaning but like deep cleaning i just took everything out of my closet and put a whole bag to sell i've just been like really purging my life i feel like <laughs> Um, and also, I just, yesterday was a new moon, and I have the Moonology, right, it's the Moonology, or Moonly app, um, and today, it was just weird, because I feel like we were very in tune with what was going on. Also, this morning, I decided to just cut my bangs out of nowhere, because I was just getting tired of them and didn't feel like myself anymore, so I just like took the scissors, thought two seconds, and then just snipped away. Um, but today is the moon is in Pisces, which means feelings, emotions, the desire of self-expression come to the fore today. Trust your intuition, be kind 
This day is suitable for creative, doing your favorite things, discovering new talents in yourself. It's also in Saturn, which is the day of solitude, austerity, purification. Choose meditation, house or garden work, doing renovations or chores, over partying and interaction. And I just totally felt that today. We both did, um, which was just weird. So we like were talking about it and then like, let me check this and just see what it says. And it's just exactly how we feel. So. Anyways, I feel like I'm rambling because I just drank an entire coffee to get me pumped up for this. Also, it's looking much better. I cleaned out the bottom and just thought that this would be nicer. I'm just going to kind of keep some like back stock stuff and packaging items here. Um, for, like my Poshmark orders and such. This is just old notebooks and candles from Bond that I just haven't used because... They're like a treasure to me. Um, and then this is just purses. I used to have two things of this and got rid of one box of purses because I literally use the same amount of purses. And then I've actually really uh, cleaned out my workout clothes because I just didn't like the way they were fitting me anymore. And it's time to kind of refresh all my clothing because my body has changed so much. Um, which is overwhelming because you have to buy new stuff and I don't really like that but I'm being really conscious of the stuff that I bring in. So this is all of my yoga stuff. I got rid of all my black leggings except one that I got in Bali last year. Studio K. I have literally only three pairs of leggings right now. And then these are like my sports bras. These are shorts. Um, this is just the black pair of leggings. Here are like sweatpants and stuff, random shirts. This is like all my crop tops and stuff that I want to go through. Sweaters I'm trying to figure out here. And then this pile is all I'm trying to organize. The bottom is stuff I'm selling. This bag is stuff I'm selling. And this, I just emptied out my stuff. And yeah, just literally re- Organized. I feel like I do a lot of these on the vlogs, but I just feel like I'm just in a phase of like changing everything and Just feeling the need to like get rid of things and just like clear my mind because I'm just really over having things that don't That I just don't even like anymore that don't make me feel good that don't make me feel confident in my body like stuff that i'm just squeezing into like why do i even have it i don't understand or stuff that just doesn't fit me right so um i've just really been trying to clear some of these things out of my life so anyways that's a little brief but i'm kind of hyped up more than usual um yeah i'm gonna get to the vlog or get the cleaning so gonna show you we're probably not doing much today but tomorrow i'm gonna go with my friend to fort green like i said so i will just take you guys along on the whole entire next couple days beautiful day it's Sunday and I'm going to meet my friend Denise right now at Cafe Guevara I'm going to meet her now to get some coffee and maybe some brunch but very excited to try this place out because they actually opened like right when we moved out of it's probably very windy on this right now so I'll talk to you guys in the train station I do have to say I'm starting to see New York more busy there's definitely more people out I don't know if it's because of people being more comfortable or that it's getting nicer out obviously but there are a lot more people out right now
taken the train in like three months since the end of December and it feels really good to get back into the city. There are many, much more people than usual though. I feel like, or more than there have been. When it smells like pee, you have to just run. Bark. Extremely peaceful in Brooklyn right now. Oh, wow. I feel like, I feel like it's a breath of fresh air. Wow. There's just pickles on the sidewalk. What? Headed to my dentist right now. It is so cold out. <sighs> Hi everyone. I just got finished with my dentist appointment and it went pretty well. I'm walking to a like it's called housing thrift shop or something. Housing thrift shops or something. It is so cold out though. I don't understand how yesterday was 50 degrees and now it's 
freezing, but whatever. I'm gonna go to the surf store, but I'm gonna find somewhere to eat before then. So I'm pretty hungry. Uh, I had all these plans today, but I don't know how they're gonna go because it's so cold out. We will see. What do I really want? What do I want to sit inside? Ah! I found a really cool coffee shop called Milk Cafe, but I definitely did not want to sit outside. I'm so cold right now. Ah! I was gonna go to one coffee shop, but this is a sign that I should be here. You got the bug, you got the girl drinking coffee. This might be it. Oh, they have a quiche. Yeah. I'm so happy right now. Okay, that was so nice to just sit and have a coffee inside. <laughs> it was so beautiful. But I'm headed to this this store right now. So everyone I'm walking in Gowanus just found this hand roll spot I can't believe I've never seen it before because it is so delicious like oh my gosh and the prices are really great as well I just got like one hand roll and a miso soup because I really want to take Chico there this weekend and I'm trying not to tell him that I found a little gem the lady is so nice in there um, <clears throat> and they just have really great quality seafood so I'm just excited, but I'm walking up to Carol now, maybe get on the train. What's this? There's like a textile museum. I'm not sure. It's always these days that I find the most inspiration. And I feel like when you're in Brooklyn, you're able to have just a breath a fresh air a bit <laughs> just like a little clear clear mind 
This is where all the food trucks be at. That road's closed. I think you have to go this way. Street in Carroll Gardens and it's one of the most beautiful lines of brownstones like one of my favorite streets Um, I don't have much else to do here, but I really don't want to go back home yet. <laughs> so I just decided to sit here right now. I hear like a little squirrel behind me. Um, but yeah, it's just my favorite neighborhood. I'm just deciding like what to do next. Do I head back or is there somewhere else I want to go? I don't know. Um, but yeah. Just hanging around. I decided to take the bus to Ikea, so I'm waiting for the bus because it's 15 minutes away and I was right here. So why not? 